Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Zesty Craft. Here's everything you need to know about smelting in Minecraft. Number eight, items that can be smelted. There are plenty of different things that can smelt in the furnace. Some of the more common items are the ore you pick up while mining, which can be transformed into ingots to use in crafting. Most food can also be put into a furnace to cook, which makes some of them the best sources of hunger restoration and saturation you can find. Plus, you can turn sand in the glass, smooth out stones, and even dismantle armor pieces through smelting. Can't actually get started on any of this until I have made the multiply furnace, which I'll put up on screen right now. Number seven, three types of furnaces. When most people think of a Minecraft furnace, their minds immediately go to the oven looking device that takes eight pieces of cobblestone or blackstone to create. However, there is more than one type of smelter in the Minecraft world. There's also the blast furnace that requires five iron ingots, three pieces of smooth stone, and a regular furnace to build. The blast furnace smelts things much faster than the original one, but it can't be used for food or other miscellaneous blocks like sand. If you fancy cooking, you may want the smoker, which deals exclusively in food and works fast too. To cut the smoker, you need logs or wood in an ordinary furnace. Is these? Well, variety is good. Let's say you have a furnace system smelting all- Number six, there are many forms of fuel. Naturally, when you're smelting something, you're likely to use coal or charcoal as fuel. After all, the two dark substances are specifically designed for burning. However, there's actually a ridiculous amount of items that you can use to power up your furnace. For starters, every different type of wooden block works as fuel, as does wool and gold nuggets. Keep in mind though, that some fuel options are much more effective at smelting than others. For instance, a lava bucket works far better than another brick. Brand new Minecraft world will eventually have some of these items right here pretty early on. Wooden tool. Number five, the furnace stops if you're too far away. When you've got your furnace filled with ore and fuel, you'll be tempted to leave it to do its thing. If you only leave its vicinity, the furnace will still burn merrily. But if you go far enough away that the device despawns, aka travels to another dimension, then your cooking will halt. Once you're back in the same dimension, your furnace will start smelting away again, so it's not a huge problem, yet the burner's ability to despawn is something you should remember before planning any nether trips. Uh, is actually racing right now. My hands are sweaty and my knees are hands. somewhat weak. Well, guess what? I already have stone. Like, you're gonna die. Number four, smelting earns experience. There are many ways to boost your level in the Minecraft world, and smelting is one of them. Every time you take a recently cooked item out of the furnace, you receive some experience points. In fact, burning things in the oven is one of the better ways to gather XP, as you'll just do it naturally while playing the game. You don't need to build intricate farms or set up nice fishing locations, you only need to tend to your typical smelting needs to enhance your level. That being said, it's certainly not the fastest way to gain experience. Now, crouch down and place three solid blocks right next to this hopper. One, two, three. Then place a solid block over here. Number three, multiple achievements and trophies are tied to smelting. Minecraft includes an abundance of achievements and trophies for players to earn. Seven of the tasks are on smelting, like the pork chop, one that asks you to cook and eat a pork chop. Some require you to dry a sponge, burn wood trunks using charcoal, and power a furnace with lava. None of the smelting achievements are particularly difficult, but a few are a bit time consuming. An achievement or trophy hunters will need to know their way around a furnace to 100% Minecraft. I'm um, Crouch and place the hopper. Number two, an in-use furnace can be used as a temporary light source. In the Minecraft world, there are numerous sources of light, yet early in the game, you might be too low on resources to create a lantern or even a few torches. Well, the fire from your furnace supplies its own light when it's burning away. The flames aren't incredibly bright, and it's only temporary as when nothing's cooking, the fire goes out. However, in a difficult situation, the light from a furnace can be useful, and it's certainly better than staring at a black screen. Bread, which can be done with a simple game rule of do fire tick uh, off, and this will update the rule. Actually, it might be- Number one, sleeping doesn't make smelting go faster. Sleeping in a bed in Minecraft lets you change the time of day from night to morning, yet napping doesn't usually advance time, meaning the overworld doesn't move forward 8 hours while you're asleep. The lack of realism tied to beds is annoying when it comes to smelting because if you put plenty of ore in a furnace, you can't just skip along the burning process. Therefore, it's best to make multiple furnaces so you can have them running simultaneously and speed your smelting up. Finds tools now, and it's not really an upgrade to anything, it's a separate thing you need to craft. And then of course, the same. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.